This is video number six on what we're attempting to do is show the how to use exponential generator functions to solve different types of permutation problems. And in this video, we're drawing upon the knowledge of our previous videos, uh, both for the five previous videos on exponential functions and the 10 or 12 previous videos that we prepared concerning ordinary generating functions and how we use those to solve difficult kinds of combination problems. So, if you just found us on YouTube, if you will go to the website at digital-university.org, all the videos that we have on this series, they're all there for you, and they're also listed in their proper sequence. Okay, here we have a different kind of a problem. It says, a company hires 11 new employees. Each one of them is to be assigned to one of four different subdivisions. And if each subdivision is to receive at least one new employee, how many different ways can this be done? So we have 11 new employees. We have four subdivisions to assign them to. How many ways can we do that, ensuring that each subdivision receives at least one new employee? And this can be solved as a permutation problem. And to show how that's done, imagine that we have the 11 different employees. And if what we could do is, if these 11 employees here, if we could assign the numbers 1 through 4, then that would tell them what subdivision to assign them to. So, what we're really asking ourselves is this question. If we have digits, numerals 1, 2, 3, and 4, and if we draw from these repeatedly to form an 11 digit sequence, let's put this down here, here we have numerals 1, 2, 3, and 4, and we're going to draw from them repeatedly to, say, generate an 11-digit sequence, which might look maybe something like this, 3, 3, 2, 4, 1, 4, 3, 2, 2, 4, 3. They would be taking these and drawing from them repeatedly to form an 11 digit number. The question, and then if we use this 11 digit number comprised of these numerals here, then that would tell us how we can assign these individuals to the different subdivisions. We want to know how many ways can this be done ensuring that each subdivision has at least one employee assigned to it. So, the question becomes this. How many of these 11-digit numbers can be formed from these four numerals here, assuring that each one of these four numerals appears at least one time in this 11-digit number that we are forming with them? Or, to restate the problem it's slightly different as we did in the previous videos, what we're asking ourselves is we have the digits 1, 2, 3, and 4. What we want to do is form an 11 permutation, 11 dash permutation. with these four digits here. With the, with the four different numerals. And we want to know how many of these can we generate here. These four different numerals the proviso being that each 
permutation that we make has to contain each one of these numerals at least one time. And this is the kind of problem that we had solved in the previous videos. And the way we did it was degenerating functions. So we started off saying, well, for the um, numeral 1, it has to be chosen at least one time for each one of these permutations. So that is x to the 1 divided by 1 factorial. All these, these are permutations now, so we're involved with exponential generating functions. Or the numeral, or the numeral 1 can be used more than once. And we never gave any upper limit. We never stated, for example, that, well, the first division can't receive any more than three different forms. If we did, then for the numeral 1, it's generating sequence, or it's generating, um, it's exponential generating function, it stop right here. If we said this, the first subdivision cannot receive any more than three employees, then it has to have at least one and no more than three, then it's generating sequence would stop. But there's no upper limit mentioned in the problem. All we're saying is that each subdivision has to have at least one employee. So, for the digit 1, and use it at least once, and there's no upper limit that was stated in the problem, so the generating sequence just goes on up to infinity. So that would then be the exponential generator for the numeral 1. And it would also be the same generator for the numeral 2. It's the same rule applies. Is that for each one of these permutations that we make, this has to be used at least one time, and there's no upper limit stated. We didn't say that subdivision number 2 can only have X number of employees. So again, for the generating sequence for numeral 2, it continues on up to infinity. And same thing for 3 same thing with a digit 4. So what we're doing is, for our problem, we want to know how many different ways can we assign these 11 new employees to four different subdivisions for casting the problem in this term. From these four numerals, how many 11 dash permutations can we generate with them ensuring that each numeral appears at least one time in each one of these different permutations. And then, that will each, and then each different permutation will give us a different assignment for these individuals to different subdivisions. And the total number of permutations that we can generate, that will tell us the total number of ways then that we can assign these 11 different individuals to the four different subdivisions. And hopefully you recognize now from our previous videos that this expression right here is e to the x minus 1. So the generating function for numeral 1 is this. The generating function for numeral 2 is this. For numeral 3 and numeral 4. Now we're considering how many 11 dash permutations we can generate with these four numerals. What we do is we multiply all of the generating functions together. So we have this times this times this four different times up to the fourth power. And in this expression right here, what we want to find is what is the coefficient of x to the n divided by 11 factorial. Is that coefficient that will tell us then the number of 11 dash permutations that we can generate with these four different numerals and all these different permutations that we can form will give us all the number of ways that we could assign these 11 individuals to the four different subdivisions. So, what 
we have to do is multiply this up. That's our next step. So we have e to the x minus 1 to the fourth power. And that will equal e to the 4x minus 4 times d to the 3x plus 6 times e to the 2x. And let's just make some room here. Minus 4 times e to the x plus 1. So here we have all four of the individual generating functions multiplied by themselves. And that gives this expression right here. Now, in this expression, what we need to do is we need to determine the coefficient of x to the 11 divided by 11 bacteria. And to do that, it's the same old story as what we've been doing in the previous videos. And in fact, we had a video that was entitled uh, Exponential Generating Functions, How to Find the Coefficients. And in that video, we have this that e to the nx gives us this expression. So that the coefficient of x to the k divided by k factorial is just n to the k, and it's this power here. Well, in our problem, we want to find the coefficient of x to the 11 divided by 11 factorial. And in here, n is equal to 4. So this is going to be 4 to the 11 times 11 factorial x to 11 divided by 11 factorial. So this right here gives us 4 to the 11. e to the 4x, the coefficient of x to the 11 divided by 11 factorial is 4 to the 11. And that comes right from here. If you have written down here. Now the next term that we have is minus 4 times e to the 3x. So now, here we have m is 3, k is still 11, so that's going to be 3 to the 11th power. We have minus 4 times 3 to the 11th power. So on e to the 3x, the coefficient of x to the 11 divided by 11 factorial is 3 to the 11 power. Then we have plus 6. Now here, n equals 2, so in this case it's going to be times 2 to the 11 power. And then for e to the x, n just equals 1, so we have 1 to the 11, which is 1. So we have minus 4 times 1. So this there it is. That's our coefficient of x to the 11 divided by 11 factorial. It is 4 to the 11 minus 4 times 3 to the 11, plus 6 times 2 to the 11, minus 4. And that number right there, once we do those computations, that tells us how many 11 permutations we can write out using these four numerators, these four numerals, using them repeatedly, ensuring that in each permutation 
each one of these numerals appears at least one time. And so that number, which is this, that then tells us the number of ways that we can assign the 11 employees to the four different subdivisions. This right here would be one possible permutation. Another permutation might be That would be another assignment then. Here, this goes to the, this individual goes to the third subdivision, this one goes to the second subdivision, and so forth. And how many different permutations can we make like this? Right here is our answer, and that is then the number of ways that we can assign the 11 new employees to four subdivisions, ensuring that each subdivision receive at least one new employee. Okay, that's it for this video. Um, we hope it makes some sense to you because the generating functions are very powerful. We can use them for solving problems that would otherwise um, would be just impossible for us to try to handle. And hopefully they've given you a sense as to the logic that's used to construct these problems and some of the basic math manipulations that we have to go through or to solve our problem. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. Come back and join us for some more videos and we'll try and solve some more problems.